All right, we're here with Democrat uh, Stan Olson running for Superintendent of Public Instruction. Uh, Stan, how are you doing today? Very well. Thank you. Um, yesterday, during your stump speech to delegates, you said that Tom Luna lacks a plan to increase student achievement in the state of Idaho. How does Stan Olson want to, want to do the same thing? Well, what I said yesterday was Tom Luna lacked a plan for education in the state of Idaho. Uh, and uh, it's unfortunate uh, that uh, that is the case, but it's been true. I, any, any school district in this state or in this country that has really moved forward in a progressive and consistent manner has done strategic planning, has basically identified what their past work has been, what their current status is, and all of the issues affecting them, demographics, uh, 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 fiscal changes, um, uh, 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 retirements of, of uh, high quality staff members and so on and so forth. And basically um, uh, worked to uh, identify what real priorities were for the future. And in using the process to, to identify uh, those things, everybody's been engaged. All of the stakeholders are engaged, parents, students, teachers, uh, administrators, board members, business. Uh, and it's not just coming to the table and signing off on a document that, that is a list of things that are would be nice to do. It's a serious, deep engagement that identifies what's coming and what the state can do uh, to uh, respond to uh, what's coming educationally. Uh, and plan and prioritize. And off of that plan, and the plan we did in my school district involved 23,000 inputs from the community. Uh, business, parents, again, students, um, and um, also was, was uh, it started with a process uh, of auditing all of our major uh, operations, our curriculum and instruction program, our operations program, our facilities, and so on and so forth. So bringing all of this key information together, doing careful analysis of, of uh, what was, what is, and what the trends are saying are going to be, uh, allowed my district and my community, and there are several versions of this in other districts in the state, to really um, lay out a plan and prioritize a plan for spending, uh, for um, the work that we were going to do for staff development and so on and so forth. Um, you know, our major resources are time and uh, once in a while money. Uh, and the concept here is how we spend our time um, should be based on the priorities established for the success of the district. Um, that doesn't exist statewide and it hasn't existed certainly uh, in the last four years. Okay. Now, a lot of people have considered, as a way to save money, district consolidation. We have 111-ish districts in this state with only 44 counties. Would you support district consolidation, or, or would that not be something you'd be interested in? Yeah. Well, the, uh, we have 115 oh, uh, districts. So you're close. Close. It, it depends on what you count and how you count them. Um, of the 115 districts, uh, uh, two-thirds of those districts are 1,000 students or less. Half of those districts are 500 students or less. We also need to remember that um, in Idaho's history, we had over a thousand school districts. So Idaho has gone through actually two or three consolidation periods in its brief history mm -hmm. uh, to bring us down to 115. Um, are there opportunities for consolidation now? Well, um, uh, if you take a look at uh, the work of uh, even the modern day legislature in Idaho, this has been a topic for discussion uh, at least 50 years. Uh, and what we find to be true is we get to the brink of a discussion about consolidation and then um, we back off of it because it becomes political, it, it becomes perceived as an attack on a community and the gathering point for many communities. And the concept here is to um, be able to have long-term discussions about where consolidations would be beneficial where they would be, um, first of all, community beneficial for the education of the children in Idaho, uh, and where then uh, real savings could be incurred through the process. The literature of the field, and it's a very interesting and very substantial uh, amount of literature, basically says in very few cases do consolidations provide real savings, mm -hmm. uh, because that which is consolidated in some cases has to be repeated in some other form 
in some other setting where resources are expended. Mm -hmm. So it has to be done carefully, it has to be done well, and it has to be done um, step by step with the people it affects. So you're saying that if, it, if it's done efficiently and if it doesn't affect the education of the students and it saves money in the long run, a, a large amount of money, you would be in favor of it? I, I, what I'd be in favor of is, is engaging in those discussions mm -hmm. uh, to, to bring communities uh, t together uh, to identify what the real benefits and what the real savings of consolidation would be. Mm -hmm. our, our problem with the discussion in the last several years, and it's one of the problems sometimes with the citizens' legislature, we begin the term, we have this intensive discussion about school consolidation, the term ends and we put it to breast, mm -hmm. we put it to bed and people go back and you know go back to their normal lives mm -hmm. uh, and we pick it up the next year. Uh, as opposed to saying that there's a real need for consolidation and a real benefit for consolidation uh, for, first of all, the citizens of Idaho, and then secondly, uh, the operation of the state. Let's get about the business of talking about it in a non-threatening, um, non-anxiety-wracked setting, mm -hmm. and, and just bring people together and say, uh, let's look at consolidation plans that have really worked in other places across the country associated with schools. Mm -hmm. how, how do they work? Uh, what, what materializes as a result of the effort? And what were the real benefits, first of all, to the local community, and then secondly, uh, to the uh, efficient operation of the state? Okay. 